Today, I'm making Bobby burgers. Does everybody have an Uncle Bobby, a great Uncle Bobby? I have a great Uncle Bobby, and this is the way that he made his burgers. I have some venison that I chopped into very small pieces. I did not put it through the meat grinder because I wanted it to be a little bit bigger than the largest hole on the meat grinder, but you could do it as a burger, but I like the pieces. That's what makes this a Bobby burger. It's got, I've got a little bit of onion and a little bit of garlic mixed up in here. And I'm just gonna brown this. I'm gonna keep it moving until it's all well brown. I have a mixture of stock, it's chicken stock, apple cider vinegar, Worcestershire, soy sauce, salt and pepper, and a little brown sugar. I'm pouring it right on top of the meat and I'm gonna allow the meat to soak all of this moisture and flavor in. When the liquid's all gone, it'll be time to plate our burgers. I use the trim pieces from the deer to make this dish. A lot of people grind them. Some people don't have grinders. This is a great way to use the trim pieces so that you don't waste any of that awesome deer that you were able to harvest. Okay, it looks like most of my mixture has soaked up into the meat. And now I'm ready to transfer it to my buns. You could do this as an open face sandwich with a fork. It might be beneficial to have a fork. I like to pile it high on the buns. It's time for a little mustard. And there you go, the Bobby Burger.